welcome back everyone to another episode of meet our clients as you already know we are interviewing all our current work permit approvals and i mean we have so many short interviews up happening every day thanks to the canadian government the visas are getting approved so fast that you know we have so many happy faces so many happy clients again after the tough covid period so today we have a young food service supervisor mr balaji who has worked for like more than a decade in maldives he has worked in some of the most luxurious uh, uh, resorts over there and now he's all ready to go to canada and start working with our employers so let's understand how the work permit process went for him and if he has any tips and advice for the fss out there so firstly mr balaji welcome on our show and thank you so much for coming uh, first i would like to thank everyone uh, the whole amk team i would like to thank especially mr san marajan and uh, uh, madam alicia she is the one taking care of my uh, file and uh, i would like to thank uh, mr gopi uh, i uh, already worked with the gopi uh, several years ago in india and i started my career i worked with gopi as well and uh, i was thinking uh, actually whether i need to apply or not i was in a double minded actually so he only uh, told me uh, you can go ahead and he only uh, gave a confidence to apply for uh, canada Awesome! We are glad you reunited with Gopi, and now you are going Canada, and I, you know you are going to meet him there as well. Awesome! That's so good to know. So, Balaji, would you just like to, you know, walk us through your journey of the work permit uh, with AMG? How, you know, it all started for you and. what you particularly liked about the process and about you know the systems at amk uh, systems at amk uh, they are pretty uh, strict with the uh, documents so uh, they want all the documents uh, to be submitted on time they are pretty strict on that and uh, uh, i would like to thank actually uh, because uh, i do have all the files with me for me it's uh, quite easy uh, because all the documents i already have so i no need to worry about the documents i have to do only ielts uh during this year i have done uh, ielts and then i got the approval very soon actually uh, i did my uh, biometric uh, in uh, march and within 3 uh, or 4 months i got approval i would like to thank for that awesome so i think this is something that we are noticing a lot you know uh, there are like uh, more few other people also who got their approval in 3 to 4 months after doing their biometric so i think that's a really good green signal a good sign that you know even if you're applying from india it's now improving the processing times are improving so i think we yes, already sir. have proven results for that today again we have mr balaji who also got in 4 months so i think that's great that's is that is a good news which we are tracking and analyzing and i think today i have found it that you know it's happening i think people who have applied after march they are getting it so and from now on it's uh, the processing times are improving now so that's awesome lovely so balaji you know uh, would you also so you have you like you have a huge experience as an fss so you know there are so many professions in the hospitality industry so you know uh, do you have any message or any learnings that you learned during your journey you know for the students who are just going to start in this field if you have any message for the students or the beginners you know if you want to just share uh, any advice or tips yes uh, i would i would uh, recommend the beginners to focus on uh, like a demand what are all demand jobs in uh, canada so they can get uh, those experience uh, uh, in india or anywhere else so they are after the experience and they need to do only ielts then they are ready to go i need to they need to concentrate only on that actually i would say lovely awesome that's great and you have i mean you have worked in maldives so many people out there you know are planning to go and have vacations in maldives and you know uh, like it's like such a hot destination for everyone to go and cherish their uh, vacation and you have already been there working that's that's so good and any any more tips for you know people who want to go to maldives any suggestions 
Mm, suggestions, uh, yes. Uh, Maldives is actually a quite uh, expensive place, so they need to work hard in uh, Canada or somewhere else, and uh, they can go for vacation. True. <laughs> That's true. Money. You need money to go to Maldives is what you are telling. Awesome. That's good to know. Okay. That is so good. Thank you so much, Balaji, for all the insights that you gave us about your journey and the tips that you shared for the beginners. We are so happy to have you here today. And, you know, the entire team wishes you lots of happiness and good luck. And, yeah, we can't wait to land uh, you in Canada and start enjoying your life there. Thank you so much. Yeah, I would like to... Uh, I would like to recommend who want to emigrate to uh, Canada. I would recommend uh, AMK Global instead of going to some other consultancy. I would recommend AMK Global. Wow, thank you so much. I, mean, I didn't even have to ask you, and Balaji already gave the recommendation. That is so good to know that how happy you are. Awesome. Thank you so much for your kind words, Mr. Balaji. It's so good to have you here today. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.